Hello and welcome to a kinda Halloween special. Today, we'll be looking at something I've been passionate about since I was a kid. Cryptozoology. Now, I'll admit, I believed in quite a few cryptids when I was a kid. But now, I, I don't believe in any of them. I just find the whole idea of them interesting, in some cases pretty spooky. However, before we begin, I want to set some rules because people call a lot of things cryptids. I'm going to be covering stuff like Bigfoot, Loch Ness, uh, Skunk Ape, Mothman, etc. I'm not going to be talking about mythological creatures like the Phoenix or the Biblical Leviathan or Unicorn or whatever. Though I will talk about one mythical creature later, but I'll explain why I broke that rule when we get to it. Also, no ghosts because I think ghosts are boring and they're not cryptids. And no aliens or UFO sightings because I want to do an entire iceberg about that stuff some other day. Though I will be talking about the Flatwoods monster in this, and some people think it's an alien, but it's not real anyway, so who cares? Now, with all that being said, let's begin. I do think there's a squatch in these woods. Bigfoot. The man, the myth, the legend, the father? Bigfoot, aka Sasquatch, is the cryptid, and has been sighted all the way back before America was founded. Supposedly, Bigfoot is a giant ape-like humanoid that lives throughout the United States and Canada. It leads behind massive footprints, Bigfoot teepees, and whatever these are supposed to be. Bigfoot is unique among cryptids because there's so many variations of how it's supposed to act. Like some people claim that they're really aggressive and they eat babies, while others claim they're just peaceful creatures that eat berries and mushrooms. Some claim they live by themselves, while others describe encountering entire tribes of these dudes. Imagine just walking through the woods and suddenly coming across a giant tribe of Bigfoot. So is Bigfoot real? Probably not. Most scientists agree that Bigfoot is a combination of misidentified bears, escaped pet apes, hoaxes, and folklore. Now of course there's also the Patterson film, which was shot in 1967, where supposedly a female Bigfoot spotted. But this has been nearly proven to be a hoax. The Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie as she's called, is one of the most famous cryptids out there, despite the most classic photo of her being confirmed to be a hoax. She's described as a plesiosaur that lives in Loch Ness, a lake in Scotland. There's been plenty of photos and videos of Nessie, but most of them are all explainable as either misidentifications or hoaxes. Though while many people believe the first sighting of her was in 1934, with the famous hoax photo, there were actually sightings of her all the way back in 565. In 565, an Irish monk and his companions encountered a water beast that attacked a man swimming in the loch. It actually witnessed the creature maul him to death. Then the Irish monk, who was named Saint Columba, did the sign of the cross as the creature approached him, causing Nessie to retreat. I guess ancient Nessie was a demon or something. Also, there's been sightings of Nessie on land. I don't think plesiosaurs were able to do that, so... Overall, the two most likely theories of Nessie is a complete hoax, or is a giant eel. Or is a swimming elephant. I don't know why people believe that. The skunk ape. The skunk ape is basically just a hairy Florida man. The skunk ape is just a Bigfoot-like creature that supposedly lives in Florida, and it gets its name from smelling like a skunk, or just really terrible. Like Bigfoot, skunk ape has been part of Florida folklore for centuries, with some myths calling it the SD Capcaca, which translates to cannibal giant. Skunk apes are also described as being a lot more violent than Bigfoot's, as there's been multiple accounts of them attacking cars. There's also this photo, which I think is just hilarious, because like, let's say it's real. The person who took this photo's first response to this giant demon ape that's like two feet away from them, smiling at them, is just take a photo. If this photo is real, that person's dead. There's no way. I mean, that is a face of murder. The Chupacabra. Chupacabra, meaning goat sucker, is a cryptid reported to live in Mexico and Central America. It's been described as either being a dog-like or reptilian-like creature, but it's universally agreed upon to be a blood sucker. It attacks and sucks the blood out of livestock almost like a vampire. However, unlike most cryptids, most of its sightings aren't actually sightings of the creature, but instead photos and videos of the aftermath of its attacks. The Chupacabra has been credited for being responsible for the 1975 Mocha livestock killings and is basically credited for any other type of livestock attack. It could be like a chicken being killed, a cow being gutted, it doesn't matter. Now is the Chupacabra real? No, probably not. Though most of the actual sightings, like the like sightings of the cryptid, are real. 
but they're just videos of stray Mexican hairless dogs. The Thunderbird. The Thunderbird are a legendary Native American myth about giant birds with enormous wings that create thunder when flapped. It's basically how Native Americans explain thunder. With that being said, there's a lot of people who claim that the Thunderbird is an actual creature that exists. It's been reported from Alaska all the way to Central America. One report from 1977 claims that in Lawndale, Illinois, two Thunderbirds attack a 10-year-old boy, with one of them even picking him up and carrying him over 30 feet. You'd think if a situation like this happened, it would just be to confirm that they're real, but um, there's been no evidence provided for this. They were described as having a four and a half foot long body, with, with each wing being four feet long. A, a far cry from a bird with the power to create thunder. The Jersey Devil The Jersey Devil, also known as the Leeds Devil, is a cryptid that supposedly lives in Pine Barrens, New Jersey. It's got a bipedal wyvern-like body with a goat head, bat wings, clawed hands, cloved hooves, and a forked tail. So yeah, it's not real. The origin of the Jersey Devil originates from an urban legend about a woman named Mother Leeds, who had 12 children, and upon realizing she was pregnant again, she cursed the child saying it'd be the devil. And so, when the child was born in 1735, the Jersey Devil was born. In 1909, the Jersey Devil spotted several times with some claiming that a blood-curdling scream and that it had attacked a trolley car in a social club. Some people also say that the police opened fire on it. I would, I would have loved to see that. People also claim to have found hoof prints all around the state. Also in 2015, people claim they took a photo of the Jersey Devil. I, I hope I don't have to explain to you why this is a hoax. Mothman. From 1966 to 1967 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, a flying humanoid creature named Mothman was seen. It reportedly just fly around with its glowing red eyes scaring the shit out of people until it was spotted just before the Silver Bridge collapse which resulted in the deaths of 46 people. Since then, people have claimed that Mothman either caused the collapse, or that Mothman is a supernatural cryptid that warns people of coming doom. You know, honestly, I think it's more like a fault with the bridge's design, or how it was like built, or whatever. But, uh, you know, I guess Supernatural Mothman's a, another good explanation. Some also think he might just be like a radioactive animal. Like I mentioned before, Mothman is reported to have glowing red eyes and a 7 to 10 foot wingspan. However, it's become pretty well known that Mothman was probably just an owl, as the glowing eyes were actually a result of red eye effect caused from the reflection of light from bright sources. Also, Mothman hasn't been seen since 1967, so if he was real, I guess he died or something. Though there are actually people who claim they saw him at 9-11, which is just... No, no you didn't. You're lying. Dragons. Dragons are giant fire-breathing lizard monsters that fly around and are obviously not real. Dragons have been part of nearly every major ancient mythology, including Norse mythology, Greek mythology, Chinese mythology, Egyptian mythology, etc. Sometimes they're depicted as having no limbs, sometimes four limbs, sometimes two limbs, sometimes they're maids, sometimes they can talk, sometimes they're sentient, and then sometimes they have magical powers. Truthfully, somebody can make an entire dragon iceberg because there's so many variations of dragons throughout history. That person not being me, I don't, I'm not, I don't care enough. Despite it being really obvious that they don't exist, there's still a lot of people that believe that they do exist, or at least existed. A lot of people believe dragons are like pterosaurs or plesiosaurs or whatever, like they lived with the dinosaurs, but they weren't dinosaurs, and that they were wiped out by the meteorite. I guess if they were real, that's the most likely scenario, but we found no fossils of them, unless you want to count a Komodo dragon as a dragon, which in that case, yeah, they're real, but for how much longer? The most likely explanation for them is that people discovered dinosaur bones before we knew what dinosaurs were, so they immediately just jumped to dragon. Skidwalkers. The Skidwalker is a Native American myth about witches who can shapeshift into animals like coyotes, hawks, etc. They're usually described as tricksters who bring bad omen or death. Originally just a Native American myth, a ton, and I mean a ton of people claim to have seen these things. It's actually astonishing how many people claim to have seen, been attacked by, been stalked by, or, or saved by skinwalkers. Realistically speaking, these sightings are just some guy sees a coyote, almost dies from something else, and then goes on 4chan to post a 10 millionth I swear I saw a skinwalker thread. Werewolves. Werewolves are an ancient mythical creature. 
They're a person who gets turned into a monstrous wolf-like creature after being placed under a curse or being infected by another werewolf on nights of the full moon. Over the centuries, many people have been killed because they were thought to be werewolves. Despite there not really being any evidence, it's more so just like, I don't really like you, so you're a werewolf, dude. There's been many different descriptions of werewolves over the centuries, from some being mindless monsters, some being intelligent hunters, some being tragic figures, or some just being big wolves. Despite it being obvious that they're just myths from like the 14th century or something, there's a surprising number of people who still believe that werewolves exist and have claimed to have actually seen them. For example, in Elkhorn, Wisconsin in 1989, a dairy farmer claimed to have seen a large creature with pointed ears and the following day found large dog-like footprints around his farm. Others claim they've had werewolves try to break into their homes, but like the aliens from Signs, they give up because they can't open the door. There's been reports of them attacking cars and howling human-wolf hybrid howls that are described as sounding like Gadara. Terrifying. Vampires. Like werewolves, vampires are a classic mythical creature that many people still believe exist. For the two people that don't know what vampires are, they're basically just blood-sucking creatures that look exactly like people, except they have sharp fangs to suck blood from and are technically undead. They also can't go into the sunlight or they'll die. Also, sometimes they can turn into bats or other creatures. Modern settings of vampires aren't like that, but instead they're described as like serial killers who go around and stalk people. Some even claim they have more of a monstrous appearance and that they run on all fours. Though some believe that, like my wife Mavis, they look like normal people and are just normal people that will occasionally, you know, just suck some blood, you know? Just, you know, why not? Regardless if they're real or not, they're not. Vampires are responsible for thousands of deaths. How so? Well, like witches and werewolves, people throughout history have murdered countless people because they believed that they were vampires. This happened in places like Romania, England, Germany, France, Albania, Venice, etc. We know this not just because of ancient texts and artwork, but also because people have found skeletons in graves with stakes through their hearts and or rocks in their mouths that people placed there in fear that they'd come back to life as vampires. Globsters. I was originally going to list off a bunch of globsters as their own thing, like as their own entries in the iceberg, but I decided against it because at the end of the day, they're the same thing. Globsters are the remains of unidentified creatures that wash up on shores across the world, or sometimes they're picked up in fishing nets. However, pretty much every single globster to ever be discovered has been proven to be the remains of a decomposing whale, basking shark, or squid. The Yeti. The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, or Meta, basically is a snow Bigfoot that lives in the Himalaya Mountains. Because they live in the snow, there's been plenty of footprint castings made of it, and tons of photos of its footprints. There's even been claims of people having scalps of these guys. Yeah, no joke, in 1954 it was reported that a the Yeti scalp was found in a Pangbotch monastery. But tests were done on it, and it was determined the hair wasn't even from a scalp, so it was just a giant hoax. It hasn't even been just tourists and locals have seen the Yeti. Apparently, some members of the military have also claimed to have seen the Yeti. They're a huge part of Himalayan folklore, but are more than likely just misidentified bears, and the footprints are just more than likely hoaxes. People also claim the Yeti is responsible for the Diet Love Pass incident that resulted in the deaths of nine people. I'm gonna be real with you, I, I don't think that's what happened. I don't think a Yeti slaughtered these people. In fact, a couple of them died of hypothermia. Did, what, did the Yeti just freeze them to death? The Flatwoods Monster. The Flatwoods Monster is one of the strangest cryptids out there. In Flatwoods, West Virginia in 1952, a bunch of teenagers saw something bright flying across the sky. And when they went to investigate it, they eventually came across a pulsing red light. There they found a 10 foot tall man-like figure with a round red face surrounded by a pointy hood-like shape. At least that was the original description. Others in the group described it as a humanoid in a metal hovercraft with claw-like hands and that it had hissed at the teens as it glided towards them. Oh, and it allowed this pugnant mist that caused nausea. There's never been a sighting afterwards, and because of how strange the creature is, many are skeptical if it ever existed to begin with. In fact, it's pretty much been proven it's a case of misidentification as on the night of the original sighting, a meteor was observed over West Virginia and a barn owl matches some of the facial descriptions they gave. So what really happened was that they witnessed a meteor and, in their confusion, mistook a barn owl for a green monster in a metal spacecraft. 
Mermaids. Mermaids are legendary creatures that are reported worldwide. They're described as beautiful creatures with the body of a woman, but instead of legs, they have a fishtail. Like Bigfoot, there's many different descriptions on how they act. Sometimes they cause shipwrecks and drownings, sometimes they flat out kill humans, sometimes they just observe people, and even sometimes they seduce people. There's even been a report in 1730 in China that a man captured a mermaid and then married her, and then when he eventually died, she returned to the sea. That same year, another man discovered a woman lying on the beach with webbed hands and feet, and then carried her to the water, to which she thanked him and swam off. Genocidal monster Christopher Columbus even claimed to have seen three mermaids on his way to the New World. Though you may think sightings of mermaids stopped as more and more people realized that it's impossible for them to exist, it turns out that's not the case. In 2009, a dozen people in Israel claimed to have seen mermaids jumping out of the water and do tricks. And in 2012, reservoir workers refused to continue working because they said a mermaid had hounded them away. Despite all these sightings, it's clear mermaids are just a combination of misidentified manatees and hoaxes. Though I do wish mermaids were real. That'd be pretty cool. Side note, remember that mermaid mockumentary from Animal Planet? I actually like it despite a lot of people hating it, because as a piece of fiction, it's pretty interesting. Remember when Kim Kardashian fell for it? The Fiji Mermaid Following up on the mermaids, we have the most famous mermaid sighting, or hoax. The Fiji Mermaid is a very bizarre creation, as someone sewed together the body of a fish and the body of a monkey skeleton to create this abomination. It was originally passed around saying that this was the corpse of an actual mermaid, However, eventually it came out that they just faked it, which, I mean, <laughs> look at it. And so the original Fiji mermaid went on to be displayed in museums before it mysteriously disappeared. However, thankfully, several variations of it have been made, so we know what the original looked like, generally speaking. The Kraken. Technically, the Kraken is real. Kinda. The idea of the Kraken is that it's a giant squid monster. And since the creation of these legends, we've discovered that the giant squid and colossal squid exist, which are both massive in size. Though the Kraken is reportedly 10 times their size and can actually take down ships. It's also been claimed it mostly roams around the depths of the ocean around Norway and Greenland. Reports of the Kraken date back all the way to the 13th century, with Vikings even reporting that they found Kraken poop, which was later just proven to be amber. Or maybe Kraken's just poop amber. Realistically speaking, the Kraken myth probably originated from people finding the aftermath of squid attacks on whales and the rare giant squid sighting. Could a squid as big as the Kraken have existed? Probably not. But I'm sure there's been a giant or colossal squid that suffered from gigantism at least one point in history. Megalodon The Megalodon is a prehistoric shark that was 34 feet long and lived from 23 to 3.6 million years ago. They'd hunt whales and were pretty much the apex predator of their time. Now, some people think they're still around, despite it being impossible as every fossil we found from the Megalodon has been millions of years old. People have claimed to have seen the Megalodon, but in reality, they've just seen great white sharks because people forget how massive great white sharks can get. There's also the mockumentary Megalodon the Monster Shark Lives, which popularized the idea of Megalodon still being alive. Side note, I actually really like this film for the same reason I like the mermaid one. Anyways, there's been false reports about the Megalodon around the globe, with the only really credible reports being some reports around the South African coast, as there's like a mysterious shark around that area, but it's probably just a great white. Some people claim the Megalodon lives in the deep abyss of the ocean, like the bottom, bottom, bottom part of the ocean, and that's how it's been able to avoid detection for so long, but just there's no evidence for that, like there's just none. The Bloop The Bloop is a possible cryptid that's far larger than the blue whale, making it the largest creature to ever exist. As for what it looks like, nobody knows. The only evidence of the Bloop's existence is a 1997 ultra-low frequency sound detected by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I'll play a bit of it for you now. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. 
can't believe there's a kaiju sized creature out there, right? Well, no, there isn't actually. Sadly for fans of the kaiju theory, a far more likely theory to the sound's origin has been described. It's an ice quake, which means that the sound comes from glacial movements like ice calving. The Kappa. The Kappa is a Japanese demon creature that is reported to attack people in the water and remove mythical organs from the victim's asses. No, that's not a joke, that's the actual myth. Kappas are mythical creatures with centuries of lore to them, with descriptions usually portraying them as turtle-like people the size of a child. Now, they're obviously not real, but that hasn't stopped people from claiming that they've actually seen one. Most of these sightings are either hoaxes or people simply misidentifying the Japanese giant salamander. Though there is a Kappa mummy that does exist, but like the Fiji mermaid, it's just sewed together animal parts. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. Link's jerky. Feed your wine. The Dover Demon. The Dover Demon is a cryptid that supposedly lives in Dover, Massachusetts, but was only spotted three times between two different days in 1977. Apparently, the Dover Demon was spotted chilling on a broken stone wall, where it was described as having tendril like fingers and a large, glowing eyes. It was spotted two more times in those two days, and when the locations of all the sightings are put onto a map, it creates a straight line over two miles long. So does the Dover Demon exist? No, probably not. It's probably just the moose calf or something. Champ. Champ is America's Loch Ness Monster. In Lake Champlain, which is also barely in Canada as well, supposedly lives a plesiosaur named Champ. He acts just like Nessie and looks exactly like his Scottish sister except for the fact that he apparently has round white spots inside of his mouth, which was claimed by Nathan H. Mooney in 1883. The most famous photo of Champ is the Mansi photo from 1977, which shows the dude peeking out of the lake. Problem is, where Champ is located in the lake in the photo, the lake is only 14 feet deep in that area, so it's impossible for a plesiosaur to hide there. It's fairly obvious that most Champ sightings are just misidentifications or hoaxes. Even the famous Mansi photo, which is more than likely just a tree stump. The Loveland Frog. The Loveland Frog, aka the greatest cryptid of all time, is a large humanoid frog man that's four feet tall that supposedly lives in Loveland, Ohio. The first actual sighting of it was in 1972 when a police officer spotted it. He claimed that the frog was 3 to 4 feet long and nearly 75 pounds with leathery skin. He then reported that the Loveland frog quickly hopped over a fence to go into a nearby river. But then, decades later in 2016, another officer mentioned how he had actually shot and killed a tailless iguana a few weeks after his colleague found the frog. So was the Loveland frog just a tailless iguana? No, I refuse. It's real. The Mongolian Deathworm AKA the star of 10 million Flash games, the Mongolian Deathworm is a cryptid claim to live in the Gobi Desert. According to reports, this giant worm is 2 feet long and is so poisonous that a single touch to it would kill you instantly. Also, it can spray off venom at its prey or discharge electricity to stun people. It swims under the sand, which creates ripples of sand waves on the surface, which allows for people to stay clear of it. So does this monster worm exist? Well, in 1983, a tartar sandbow was shown to locals who claimed that they had actually seen the death worm, and they all literally said that the boa looked identical to the worm. So no, it's probably just a sand boa. But that hasn't stopped people from looking. Like in 1992, when a group of people went to the Gobi Desert to find a death worm, inspired by the novel Dune, they used explosives to lure it out. The Queensland Tiger in Australia, the Queensland Tiger is claimed to roam the land as the last survivor or descendant of the Tasmanian Tiger. 
It's claimed that this feline is the size of a dog with stripes and a long tail. It has prominent front teeth and is extremely aggressive. It's either a misidentification, the last surviving Tasmanian tiger, which officially went extinct in 1936, tree kangaroos walking on all fours, or their pumas. Pumas, you ask? Those don't live in Australia? Well, there's an urban legend that during World War II, American soldiers brought pumas to Queensland, Australia for whatever reason. So if this urban legend's true, maybe it's a puma. Although, let's be real here, it's not. Mammoths. Thought to be extinct at the end of the Ice Age, woolly mammoths are still claimed to be seen to this day. They were able to grow up to 15 feet tall and needed cold environments to survive, meaning that all the modern day sightings of them are in places like Alaska, Siberia, Canada, and the Arctic. Though there's also been sightings of them in New York, so I, I guess if you live in New York, be on the lookout for woolly mammoths. Even if they don't still exist, we might be able to clone them back into existence. Just in time for another mass extinction. Ahul. Ahul is a giant bat cryptid that lives in the jungle of Indonesia. It gets its name from its loud cry, which sounds exactly like its name. According to legend, its body is that of a chimpanzee. It has an 18 to 28 foot wingspan and eats fish and people. According to researchers, female Ahuls are very social and live in groups with their young until they're old enough to survive by themselves while males live by themselves. They also love to stalk their prey before killing them instantly with a quick cracking of the spine. You see, stuff like this is like really confused to me. Like, who study the differences between male and female Ahuls? If you were able to study them this closely, how come we don't have clear photos of them? Or better yet, why aren't they recognized by science? The Montauk Monster. The Montauk Monster is a dead raccoon. All right, all right. So the Montauk Monster is the name of a dead cryptid discovered on the beach of Montauk, New York, 2008. Because of how weird it looks, people were confused as to what it was. Some even claimed it was a mutant experiment from Plum Island, an island off the coast of New York, with an animal disease center there. And there's like a bunch of conspiracies that they do with like evil stuff there. I don't know enough about it to make a comment. And while some people continue to push these theories, dozens if not hundreds of animal researchers have come out and been like no that's just a dead raccoon with its fur missing and its upper jaw missing also there's like reports of some dude taking the corpse and like bringing it home with him uh, so i don't know I, I guess somebody in new york just has a rotting raccoon corpse in their house the bunyip bunyips are carnivorous creatures that supposedly live in australia according to folklore Bunyips live in swamps, creeks, and water holes, where they'll hunt for their prey. They're also almost entirely aquatic. They're described as having a bulldog-like head, a maned neck about three feet long, a horse-like tail, having no tail, whiskers like a seal, they're four to six feet long, they have large ears, they have a head like a horse, they're nocturnal, they have brown fur, they eat crayfish, they have black fur, they primarily hunt humans, they lay their eggs in platypus nests for some reason. They have small tusks and they have an emu head. Yeah, nobody can actually agree on what bunny ups look like. Seriously, there's like a dozen or so vastly different descriptions of it. Like, look at this artwork from 1935. This is what some people thought it looked like. If I saw this thing in real life, I'd cry. Ogopogo. The Ogopogo is a Canadian lake monster that's said to live in the Okanagan Lake. It was first reported by members of the First Nations centuries ago and it's been described as being a serpent and being 40 feet long with five sleek jet black humps and can even swim up to 25 miles per hour. It's apparently not very aggressive as there's been sightings of Ogopogo while people have been in the water with it. Sadly for Ogopogo, it's probably just a bunch of otters or tree logs. Despite all this, Ogopogo has become a major commercial symbol in Canada and for whatever reason, there's an Ogopogo statue underwater. The Alkali Lake Monster The Alkali Lake Monster, aka the Walgren Lake Monster, is a cryptid that lives in the Sand Hills of Nebraska in the US. It's been described as being like a dull gray alligator, but much larger and heavier, with a big horn between its eyes. Some even claim the creature is about 40 feet long. Despite this sounding pretty crazy, a lot of people in the area believe in it. In fact, fundamentalist Christians in the area believe that the cryptid was created by Satan himself to test the faith of the locals. 
Sadly, the Walgren Lake Monster is more than likely just a hoax, as the original sighting was made by John G. Marr, who was known for creating several other hoaxes in order to sell more newspapers at the time. The Wendigo. The Wendigo is a Native American evil spirit that possesses people. Once it possesses someone, they turn into a monstrous-like being that's constantly hungry no matter how much it eats, which then leads the Wendigo to cannibalize other human beings, or just murder people. Now when I say monstrous, I mean they're, they're crazy and evil-like. The whole humid moose antler monster thing never actually appeared in the original stories. That was invented by Hollywood. But regardless of that, a ton of people in Canada and the United States have claimed to have seen or even been stalked by Wendigos. One description of the Wendigo describes the creature as having its skin being pulled tightly over its bones, which causes their bones to nearly burst out of their bodies. Their bodies are gray and its eyes are pushed back deep into their sockets. One of the most notable Wendigo sightings was that of the Jack Fiddler case, in which a man named Jack Fiddler murdered a man in 1906 because he believed that he was a Wendigo. Basically, he considered himself a Wendigo slayer. He was then arrested, but died three days into jail despite being pardoned for his crime. So do Wendigos exist? I mean, no, but I'm sure there's been someone who's cannibalized somebody in the past and claimed to have been possessed by an evil spirit. So I guess in that case, maybe? Deloy's 8. Francis Deloy was a Swiss oil geologist that claimed he had discovered a new species of primate in 1920 in Venezuela. He claimed that while on an expedition, he and his crew were attacked by two monkeys who approached them screaming and shaking branches. They apparently walked upright and waved the branches like weapons. So Deloy and his crew then decided to gun down the apes, or at least tried to. The more aggressive male one wasn't shot and escaped, but the female one was shot and killed. They then propped the corpse up, took a photo, and continued on their way. As of today, it's pretty well known now that this animal is actually just a spider monkey. So was the entire story a hoax? Well, yeah, probably. Igopogo. The Igopogo is a Canadian lake monster that's, that sounds like a dollar store brand version of the Ogopogo, but Igopogo is far different. There's two different variations of what it supposedly looks like. The first being a 70 foot long gray seal like animal with a dog like face, prominent eyes, a gaping mouth, dorsal fins, and a fish like tail. The second describes the creature as having two long antennae, four octopus arms, three pairs of legs, and six gill like appendages with feathers. Yeah, Igopogo has got some really strange descriptions. It supposedly lives in Lake Simcoe, Ontario, and most of its sightings have been chalked up to either being otters, seals, or schools of fish. The Boggy Creek Monster The Boggy Creek Monster, aka the Swamp Stalker, is an ape-like creature that's similar to Bigfoot in appearance. However, unlike Bigfoot, the Boggy Creek Monster is extremely aggressive and has attempted numerous times to kill people. According to reports, the creature is 7 to 10 feet tall and weighs 300 to 800 pounds. It has three toes, sharp claws, and its eyes are the size of silver dollars, and apparently it smells horribly. The creature supposedly lives in Falk, Arkansas, and was reported in mass in the 1970s. Though that wasn't the first time it was spotted, the first being in 1851. The creature became so well known and feared that the Little Rock, Arkansas radio station K posted a $1,090 bounty on the creature. The last major sighting of the creature was in 1998 and it also served as the subject for the cult classic docufilm The Legend of Balky Creek. The Beast of Jevoudon The Beast of Jevoudon is an interesting cryptid because we know it actually existed. Maybe. You see, the Beast of Juvedon was a man-eating wolf that killed up to 500 people in France from 1764 to 1767. Pretty crazy, right? Well, it's referred to as a cryptid for several reasons, because nobody actually knows what animal it was. I said a wolf earlier, but that's just because most reports describe it as looking like a wolf. Other descriptions suggest the beast was actually a striped hyena who had escaped from a local zoo, or a wolf-dog hybrid. And we don't actually know whether or not it was one animal. Because while it's just referred to as the Beast, the creature was reported being killed several different times, which suggests that there were multiple beasts. 
Also, it killed 500 people, and I don't think one animal can do that in, like, three years. The Thetis Lake Monster. The Thetis Lake Monster is a lake monster in Victoria, British Columbia, and Canada. In 1972, two teenagers spotted a humanoid, silvery-scaled creature emerge in the lake. It had spikes on its head and sharp claws, and apparently it attacked them. Now, funny enough, this cryptid isn't actually a cryptid, but a combination of two different fictional creatures. The Gill Man from The Creature from the Black Lagoon, and the monster from the film Monster from the Surf, which actually aired on local TV just a few days prior to the initial report. Finally, years later, one of the teens came out and said, that the story was just a hoax to get attention. The Mikele Umbambe is a cryptid said to live in the Congo River Basin. It's usually described as a large four-legged sauropod with smooth brownish-gray skin, a long neck, and a single tooth. Though some also report that tooth actually just being a horn. Basically, it's a sauropod dinosaur that apparently still lives in the jungles of Africa. Reports of the creature date back to 1909 when big game hunter Carl Hagenbeck had told him a half-elephant, half-dragon creature lives in the jungle. This began a ton of reports of the creature, though most of these sightings can actually be looked at as just local newspapers taking advantage of the recent dinosaur craze caused by the film The Lost World and claiming the creature spotted was a dinosaur. Interestingly though, a ton of young Earth creationists have gone and tried to find this cryptid in order to prove that evolution is fake. I don't think you should go looking for this thing though, as many natives to the area have claimed it died at least a decade ago, so even if it did exist, it's long since dead. Giants. Giants are exactly what they sound like, giant people. There's been plenty of myths and stories about giants dating all the way back to when the Bible was created. They appear in Greek, Welsh, and Norse mythology, each of them having different roles and descriptions. For example, in Greek mythology, it's said that giants are born with gleaming armor, holding long spears. While in Norse mythology, giants aren't that much taller than humans and are usually described as being beautiful or grotesque. There's really no in between. So this is all myth stuff, so why am I talking about it here? Because there is an enormous amount of people who believe that giants exist, or at least existed at some point in history. To this day, there's still people who believe in the 2004 giant hoax. For those who don't know, in 2004, photos began spreading online and through emails of researchers discovering giant skeletons in India, with reports saying that the Indian Army had helped National Geographic dig them up. Nat Geo themselves would debunk this story. Giants weren't found dead in India. It's all just photoshopped. There's also people who believe that giants are in the center of the earth, in Argatha or whatever. Uh, I, that's just not true. I, I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Hacemos nuestros taxes con TurboTax. Tienen ayuda en vivo con la que puedes hablar en español o inglés. ¿Qué onda? ¿Puedo deducir las comidas si trabajo por mi cuenta? Si fueron de trabajo, claro, señor Chupacabra. Ah, es un monstruo, chica. ¿Ves? No hay que tenerle miedo. Intuit TurboTax. The Lizard Man of Scape Orc Swamp First reported in the 1980s, the Lizard Man of Scape Orc Swamp is exactly what it sounds like, a lizard man from Lee County, South Carolina. This lizard man is described as being green, wet-like, having three fingers, red eyes, snake-like scales, and is at least seven feet tall. It's apparently very aggressive as many of its sightings deal with the cars being damaged. There's even a story about a 17-year-old named Christopher Davis who was coming home from his night shift when he got a flat tire. When he went to go fix it, he saw the creature approaching him. Scared out of his mind, he got back into his car and drove off. But the lizard man was able to jump onto the car, which led to Davis putting on the brakes, which caused the creature to roll off the car. There was even a report that a man had shot and injured the lizard man. So is the lizard man real? Well, no. There's already been several reports, including the one in which the man shot and injured the lizard man, where witnesses have come forward and admitted that they are hoaxes. The Yowie the Yowie is basically Australia's Bigfoot. It's been described as being between 7 foot 11 to 12 feet tall, with a really wide and flat nose and dirty red fur. As for its footprints, well, they're very inconsistent. Some say it has 5 toes, some say it has 4, 6, even 7 toes. Also, the footprints are almost always different. 
like the shape of the foot. Like Bigfoot, there's been countless sightings over the years, such as the earliest in the 1850s, where a man named Henry James McCoy claimed to have seen one on the coast of Australia. In 2009, a dog was brutally killed and mutilated, to which top Yowie investigators claimed it was killed by a Yowie, despite the owner being like, nah dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just dingoes. I don't think a 12 foot tall monkey came in and killed it. There's even an Australian version of the Patterson footage called the Piper film, which was recorded in August of 2000. Like the Ogopogo, the Yowie has also become a commercial icon in Australia. When I was a kid, I used to think the Yowie was real, even if Bigfoot wasn't, purely because there are no bears in Australia, so it can't be a misidentified bear. My dumbass just kind of forgot that, that hoaxes can happen. Brazilian gnomes. Brazilian gnomes are tiny gnomes that spring to life in Brazil. Unlike a lot of cryptids, there's actually been a ton of videos of them. No mames, esperen, esperen, no se vayan, no vayan a volver, no mames, espérate, espérate, no, 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 no mames, no mames, no, no mames, no se vayan a parar, güey, espérate, no mames, 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 Mira, 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 So you see, they're obviously real and are a threat to us all. They may not seem like a threat, but trust me, they're planning something. Cressy Cressy is an eel lake monster in Crescent Lake, Canada. Cressy is described as a large dark brown eel that's 15 feet long and having a fish head. The earliest sightings of Cressy are from the 1950s where two woodsmen saw an upturned boat in the lake. Worried that the people on board might be drowning, the two swam out to the boat only for the boat to reveal itself as Cressy and dive back into the lake. There was even a report back in the 1980s. Wow! Where some scuba divers found themselves surrounded by a school of giant eels. They said they were only just barely able to escape, and some believe that these were Cressy's babies. And finally, during the winter, there's large holes that appear in the ice in Lake Crescent when it's frozen over, which people speculate were created by Cressy for some reason. Uh, to wrap this all up, can we just take a moment to appreciate Wikipedia's picture for Cressy? Perfect. Marvelous. The Beast of Bray Road. The Beast of Bray Road, also known as the Wisconsin Werewolf, is a wolf-like humanoid that lives near Elkhorn, Wisconsin. It's named after the road it was first sighted on, and it seems the Beast of Bray Road loves roads because it keeps getting spotted on them. For example, people reported the beast attacking their cars and leaving claw marks in their car doors. One person even claimed to have seen it chasing a deer next to the road. There's even a report of people finding the beast eating roadkill. And in response to being seen, the wolfman got up and ran off. The beast itself was described as being roughly 7 feet tall with the head of a wolf or a bear, and has been seen running on all four limbs or just its back legs. And finally, there's been tons of animal mutilations all around the Bray Road, with specific organs being removed from dead animals. And so, of course, people have said the beast of Bray Road have done it. Sheep Squatch Sheep Squatch is a woolly-haired creature reported to live in West Virginia. Now, despite what the name may suggest, this sheep squatch is, is not a Bigfoot but sheep, but instead is a large four-legged bear-like creature with white wool-like fur, with a dog-like head, horns, a possum-like tail, smells like sulfur, and has razor-sharp teeth. So yeah, it's completely different. The most notable reports of it have said it attacks people, and has even left scratch marks on cars as it attempts to get inside. It's also been reported to have similar behavior to a bear, which makes sense because it's probably just a misidentified bear. spring Jack spring Jack is an interesting one, because he's technically not a cryptid, but he's often called one, so I'm just going to play it safe and throw him in here. spring Jack is a humanoid creature spotted in the United Kingdom from the 1830s to 1904. People claimed he had clawed hands, eyes that resembled red balls of fire, 
wore a black cloak, a helmet, had cold and clammy skin, wore tight-fitting clothing, was pretty tall, and could breathe out blue fire. Also, he could apparently speak English. He could also jump at least 10 feet in the air, which is where he got his name. One of the earliest accounts involved spring killed Jack grabbing a woman in a dark alley where he began to kiss her and rip off her clothes, which caused her to scream, which in turn caused him to run off. Honestly, that's probably not spring killed Jack. That was probably just a, um, well, I can't say the word because I'll get demonetized, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. He's also one of the few cryptids to kill people. Well, okay, no, he hasn't actually killed anyone, but apparently he's caused several people to die of fright. Didn't know that was a thing. Look, it's obvious that something was going on in London, but realistically, it was just a couple of people pretending to be this character, while the rest of the reports were results of mass hysteria. The Poe Orangutan The Poe Orangutan is a very obscure cryptid that looks identical to an orangutan, except it walks on two legs and apparently is more muscular. According to the few reports of it, this cryptid lived in Italy and would attack calves and barns, which caused the authorities to hunt for it. But when they couldn't find it, people decided to then board up their homes in fear of the Poe orangutan. After that, there was one report of it on a beach, but that's kind of it. They described it as being four feet tall, and they were scared it was going to drag them into the bushes. Since then, the Poe orangutan simply disappeared into obscurity. Seriously, finding information for this thing was kind of hard. The only place that had information was the cryptids wiki, and th that's it, really. The Michigan Dogman First reported in 1887 in, where Michigan, the Michigan Dogman is a werewolf-like creature that supposedly walks on two legs. According to reports, the Michigan Dogman will sometimes travel with wild dogs and wolves, though it's mostly seen alone. One report from 1961 had a security guard spot it, he pulled out his gun to shoot at it, but then was like, Nah, I'm just gonna take a photo instead. And then after taking the photo, I, I guess he just kind of like walked off like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Like, oh, you know, I just saw a werewolf. Back to, back to, uh, back to business as usual. There's also a report of it being seen near a butcher shop because in the eyewitness's own words, I've gotten bacon from this place a few times and for some reason a batch I had tasted how wet dog smells and smelled like that when cooking. With hard-hitting evidence like that, it's hard to disprove the Dogman's existence. The Conrit The Conrit is a giant centipede that supposedly lives in the Southeast Vietnamese Sea. It supposedly uses its many legs and bunny plates to swim, and has a shell so hard that if hit, it will ring out like metal. There's been plenty of sightings of this thing, like in 1833 when somebody claimed they actually had touched it, somehow. That same year, a dead Conrit was found and proved that the creature was 60 feet long and 3 feet wide. Though nobody knows what happened to that corpse afterwards, so take that with a grain of salt. But it gets even crazier than that. In 1899, it was spotted by a bunch of sailors who claimed it was 135 feet long and could swim as fast as the ship they were in. Then another carcass was found in 1883 where some guys found a headless Conrit corpse that smelled so bad they threw it into the ocean instead of like you know taking evidence with them I, I, I mean i guess it would smell but i don't know i guess they weren't thinking at the time now i'll say this i've goofed on a lot of these cryptids but technically if you want to be fair here the conrit is one of the more realistic ones i know how that sounds but hear me out invertebrates are the most commonly discovered animals on the planet and they can live underwater like deep in the water like the bottom of the ocean deep so maybe, maybe a 10-foot or so centipede lives down there. Maybe. As for the one in Vietnam, I mean, probably not. I mean, you'd think we would have found another carcass by now, or at least some modern evidence of it, because while there's a lot of sightings of it, they're all from, like, the 19th century. The Enfield Monster. The Enfield Monster is like Pinky from Doom, but with three legs. It was reported in Enfield, Illinois, 1973, when at 9.30 p.m. it was shot at by an eyewitness who described it as having three legs, a short body, two pink eyes, was four and a half feet tall, and was gray. It made a hissing sound when shot and then hopped away, reportedly covering 50 feet in just three jumps. Now I know what you're thinking. Was this just an escaped kangaroo? Yeah, probably. I mean, a man from Ohio came out and said that his pet kangaroo had gone missing about a year before the incident, so, I mean, y y you know. The Awful The Awful is a cryptid I can barely find any information about. It's apparently a griffin-like creature with a 20-foot wingspan 
enormous claws and a serpent-like tail that apparently lives in Richford, Vermont. The only sighting of this thing involves two sawmill workers crossing a bridge when they saw the beast glaring at them from a rooftop. It scared one of them so badly he had a heart attack on the spot. Yeah, kind of crazy. Now, apparently the awful served as inspiration for several stories written by Don't Ask About the Cat, H.B. Lovecraft. He had actually traveled to Richford in 1925 to find the creature, but sadly couldn't find it. Cussie. Cussie is a Japanese lake monster that supposedly lives in Lake Kusharo. She's reported to be around 60 feet long with several humps in her back separated by 4 meters and a horse-like head with giraffe horns and silver eyes. It's also been reported that she makes clicking noises. Nobody knows why, but apparently she just does that. She's extremely fast, though that hasn't stopped her from appearing on sonar as she's been spotted roughly 20 meters below the surface. While she was made famous in the 1970s, she was actually first spotted in the 19th century, where it was reported that she would attack and eat deer whole, though nobody has seen Cussie get out of the water like Nessie, so I guess she just used her long neck to grab deer. The Bear Lake Monster The Bear Lake Monster is a lake monster that lives in Bear Lake on the Idaho and Utah border. The creature is described to be serpent-like with 18-inch long legs and is at least 50 feet long. It's also been described as being similar to a cow, an otter, a walrus, minus the tusks, and a crocodile, so I have no idea what it's supposed to look like. Reports of the creature date back to the 1860s, when it was reported as a Native American water devil. This would only be the first of many for the next 26 years, as there'd be a ton of sightings, including one where the Church of the Latter-day Saints planned on capturing the creature. But finally, it was revealed by Joseph C. Rich, the man who had first broke the news of the Bear Lake Monster, that the creature had been, quote, a wonderful first-class lie. Despite admitting it was a hoax, people still claim to have seen it, including a four-year-old in 1937, because if there's any trustworthy eyewitness, it's a four-year-old. The last sighting of it was in 2002, and since then, the Bear Lake Monster has faded into history. Side note, a little girl named Isabel won a contest in 1996, which led to the Bear Lake Monster being named after her, so I, I guess the Bear Lake Monster is also named Isabel. The Brosno Dragon The Brosno Dragon is a lake monster that supposedly lives in Lake Brosno in Russia, with sightings of it dating back to the 13th century. It's said that it lives deep in the lake, but it's very territorial as one legend states that it scared off the Mongol army in the 13th century. As while they were resting near the lake, it had come out and begun to devour many of the soldiers and horses there. Though there's another legend where the Brawl Snow Dragon literally swallows an entire island, so it's best not to take these theories as actual sightings. Oh, and people also say that it destroyed a Nazi fighter plane in World War II, so that's pretty cool. Overall, the Brawl Snow Dragon is very obviously not real. But that hasn't stopped people to this day claiming that the creature still kills people every year by overturning boats and either having people drown or swallowing them whole. The Ultimahaha The Ultimahaha is a lake monster that's said to live in Georgia, in the United States, not the country, that lives in the mouth of Ultimaha River. According to sightings, the creature has a sturgeon-like body with a bony ridge on its top, with only front flippers like a dolphin. It's also been described as being gray with a whitish-yellow stomach. Recently, in 2018, a decomposing corpse was found on the beach in the Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge, which led to a ton of people thinking that the monster had been found. But then the performance artist Zardulu came out and was like, "Not nah, sorry, my bad, that was, that's my art piece, it's not, that's not the creature, that's, I'm sorry, that's my, my bad. Apparently it was made out of stuffed shark and paper mache, it must have been really, really gross to make. The Goat Man. The goat man has a cryptid that lives in the woods of Maryland, and is exactly what it sounds like, a goat-like humanoid. It's been described as a very violent cryptid that kills dogs and attacks cars with an axe. Yeah, seriously, this dude makes an axe to hunt with. One of the local legends of the goat man claimed that the cryptid had originally been a scientist who was working on an experiment on goats that backfired and turned him into the goat man. Literally just a supervillain origin story. In fact, he actually is in DC. Regardless of its very silly origin story, the Goatman is still a very feared cryptid in the area, though most of the sightings were in the 1970s and haven't really continued to modern day, so maybe he's dead or something. I don't know. The Yaren. The Yaren, also known as the Chinese Wild Man, is China's version of the Bigfoot. It's been described as living in the Chinese mountains and having reddish-brown fur, really messy long hair on their scalp, 
being eight feet tall with a large jaw, and are weirdly friendly towards humans. Interestingly, the Chinese government under Chairman Mao Zedong, aka one of the most evil men in modern history, have actually searched for it, but were never able to find it. They did this because they thought stories would impair productivity and scare farmers from tending their fields. These searches will continue well after Mao, where in 1977, 109 military personnel, biologists, zoologists, and photographers launched an expedition to find it, though they were never were able to. There was even a bounty placed on this dude in 1981, $1,750 for a dead or $3,500 for it alive. Since then, the Chinese government have come to the conclusion that most, if not all, sightings are just misidentified Asian black bears. But who knows? Maybe they did find it, and they just won't tell us. Selma Selma, aka, nope, not pronouncing that, is a lake monster that lives in Seljord, Norway. There's been many different reports throughout the centuries, with one of the earliest dating back to 1880, where a man claimed that he had cut a Selma in half when it tried to attack him. Sightings describe it as being roughly 20 meters long, with a narrow crocodile-like head. It's also been described as having humps, and having fin-like feet and being black in color. In 2000, a team of scientists spent a lot of money in order to prove Selma is real, and to try to get her placed on the endangered species list, so to make her illegal to catch. They failed. To this day, people still look for it every year, but realistically, Selma is just a catfish or an eel or, you know, a, a tree log or just some waves that people are misidentified. Megalena. The Megalena, like the Megalodon and Woolly Mammoth, was a real creature that lived in Australia thousands of years ago, before becoming extinct, roughly 50,000 years ago. They were massive lizards that were 23 feet in length and were the apex predators of Australia at the time, and like Komodo dragons, their bites contained potent venom. Despite dying out thousands of years ago, people claim the creature still exists, with one reported in 1979, resulting in the discovery of lizard tracks that they didn't cast or take pictures of, so, you, you know, it's totally real. People also claim it raids farms, but it retreats once humans see it, which is very convenient. The Ropin. The Ropin, aka Demon Flyer, is a pterosaur or giant bat that lives in Papua New Guinea. It reportedly has a wingspan of from 12 feet in length to 100 feet in length. No, it's not real. There is no flying bat monster with a 100 foot wingspan. I refuse. Reports even say its tail length is more than 25% of its wingspan. What the hell? According to reports, the rope pen is nocturnal like a bat and glows a bit for whatever reason. It also just eats two things, fish and human flesh. So watch out. It also likes the grave rob for some reason. Before we move on, can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that rope pen has a villain's wiki page and is apparently an evildoer? The only crime it's committed was grave robbery. No, your occupation can't be a mythological monster. What's the yearly salary on that? The Lake Utopia Monster The Lake Utopia Monster, also known as Old Ned, is a lake monster that supposedly lives in Lake Utopia in Canada. It's described as being roughly 20 feet long, being reddish-brown, and having a really large head. It's also been described as being really docile and friendly. According to researchers, they believe that Old Ned travels back and forth between Lake Utopia and the Atlantic Ocean every three to five years for breeding purposes, or just to eat. I don't know where they pulled that from, but alright then. The Nandi Bear The Nandi Bear is a bear species that supposedly lives in Kenya. They're described as being highly aggressive, at least four feet tall when they're on all fours, have a sloping back, reddish fur, long feet, and it's nocturnal. Despite the many descriptions of the Nandi bear and the reported encounters, there's actually not a single piece of evidence for its existence. No photos, no videos, no tracks, no fur samples, no shit samples. Absolutely nothing. In fact, paleontologist George Gaylord Simpson- That's a really unfortunate name. I'm, I'm really sorry that your parents are cruel enough to give you the middle name Gaylord. What? That's just- Oh my god. Anyways, George Gaylord Simpson has come to the conclusion that the Nani Bear is just a misidentified honey badger. Which makes the most sense to me. The Ninjin. The Ninjin are a cryptid that supposedly live in Antarctica. It's been described as being completely white with a human-like body with legs, arms, and even hands. Though sometimes they're just described as having a mermaid-like tail or tentacles. So I guess they're just sometimes born with those. They're also roughly 20 meters long and according to people, the Ninjin prefers to come out at night. 
and while in the ocean, they look almost exactly like ice. So most sightings are just people seeing things that look like ice in the water at night in Antarctica. Alright, now what's weird about these things is that there's actually a community of people who believe that the Japanese government are hiding their existence. You see, this is because they were first reported by a Japanese whaling ship. And because they want to keep their whaling information private, all ninja sightings are apparently hidden away. Keep in mind, though, that this story was reported on 2Channel, which is an anonymous message board that a lot of far-right people in Japan use. So take this all with a massive grain of salt. The Oring Mayas. The Oring Mayas is a Bigfoot-like cryptid that supposedly lives in Malaysia. It's been described as being roughly 10 feet tall, covered in black fur, and reportedly loves to fish and raid orchards, so they're kind of a menace. It's also been seen living with others of its kind, with at least one sighting reporting two adults and a child by a pond. In 2006, the Malaysian government sent a team to search for the creature to either prove or disprove its existence. The team found absolutely nothing, so I guess it's um, probably not real. Messy. Messy is yet another lake monster named after Nessie. Reported to live in Lake Murray, South Carolina, Messy is very similar to Nessie in appearance. However, it's apparently highly aggressive. For example, in 2012, two teens were fishing on the lake when Messy apparently grabbed one of their lines, and while trying to reel back the line, one of the boys broke their wrist. Messy then dragged their boat across the lake for over a mile, but eventually left them alone. You'd think we know it exists if it was this aggressive. Like, why wouldn't it just attack people more often, you know? But I guess it doesn't want to attack people directly. Fairies. So fairies are ancient myths that originate centuries ago, with some being reported back in the 15th century. They're described as tiny humanoids that fly around and do, well, a lot of things. You see, some people claim that they're just tricksters who prank people. Some claim they exist to ward off evil spirits. Some claim that they're satanic monsters. Some claim they've given people tuberculosis. No, that's not a joke. That's a thing people actually believed back in the day. And some just claim they're sentient beings that just kind of chill out and fly around doing whatever. Since their creation, fairies have become pretty popular in pop culture, notably my wife Tinkerbell. But that hasn't stopped people from claiming they've actually seen fairies, most notably the famous Cottingly Fairy Hoax, 1917, in which a 16-year-old girl copied illustrations from the book Princess Mary's Gift Book and drew wings on them. Then she cut them out and propped them in photos. Despite the photos being a hoax, she claimed that she had actually seen fairies, but just faked the photos. So, are fairies real? N no. Man-eating trees. Man-eating trees are plant cryptids that are supposedly just as their name suggests. Trees that can eat people. After all, if Venus flytraps can eat flies, why can't trees eat people? The first reported encounter of these trees was in 1874, where it appeared in an article that was fabricated. Off to a great start as to whether it's real or not. Since then, though, there's been many different reports in Africa and Central America of trees large enough to eat people. For example, the vampire vine in 1891, which apparently has the ability to drain the blood of any living thing it comes into contact with. Or the yetivo, which is a plant that apparently makes a hissing noise that fires poisonous spines at people. There is absolutely no scientific evidence for any of these things. Hundred and thirty yards now. Bill's got a very tough lie here. Looks like we have some sort of sea monster in the water hazard here. I believe that's a Kraken, Bruce. He looks like he's gonna go with the nine iron. That may not be enough club. Well, he's definitely gonna lose a stroke on this hole. If you're a golf commentator, you whisper. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. This golf course is electric. The Fresno Nightcrawlers. AKA the Living Pants from Jimmy Neutron, the Fresno Nightcrawlers are a rather short cryptid at only a few feet tall. They're white creatures with stilt-like legs and feet with no arms, and no real head either. Some people even claim that it has webbing connecting each knee to their torso, but I don't know where they got that from. They were first spotted in November of 2010 in Fresno, California at night, though it's also been spotted in Poland, 
The only evidence for these creatures' existence is that there's a couple of videos of them walking, but because they're so blurry, it's hard to make out anything. And truthfully, like, let's be real here, there's just... They're just hoaxes. They're just, like, white pants on string or something. Bessie. Bessie is a lake monster that reportedly lives in Lake Erie, which is a massive lake that ranges from Canada to Pennsylvania. So I guess this means Bessie has dual citizenship. Anyways, Bessie was first spotted in 1793, where it was described as a snake-like creature roughly 40 feet long with a grayish colored pattern, though Bessie was spotted a few years later, and this time was described as being 60 feet in length and having a copper color. They even shot at her with muskets, though it apparently didn't do anything to her. In 1817, two brothers spotted Bessie on the beach, and what they described were her death throes. These sightings have led people to speculate that Bessie isn't just one creature, but an entire population of cryptids in Lake Erie. The last reported sighting of Bessie was in 1995, so it's possible that they all died out, or they just didn't exist to begin with. The Kasai Rex The Kasai Rex is literally just a T-Rex. Yes, people report seeing a T-Rex dubbed Kasai Rex in the Congo. It was first reported in 1932 when it was shot as it was trying to kill an elephant. The hunters who shot it then followed the creature and found it mauling a rhino, tearing off one of the rhino's legs with just one bite. It was described as being red-colored and having blackish stripes. It had a long snout, plenty of teeth, and was reportedly 43 feet long. It could also swim, apparently. Years later, in 1951, there was another sighting, in which a Kasai Rex slaughtered 10 men who were out hunting. The only trace of them were a pile of bloody body parts. So, is there a T-Rex living in the Congo? Well, considering the fact that dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago, there's only been two sightings, and no species of Tyrannosaur has ever been discovered in Africa, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's a hoax. The U-28 Creature On July 30th, 1915, during the First World War, a U-boat by the name of the SMU-28 sank a British ship nine miles off the coast of Ireland. After they sank the ship, they watched as the wreckage sunk to the bottom of the ocean. For about 25 seconds before an explosion went off sending debris into the air along with a gigantic crocodilian sea monster which almost instantly retreated back into the ocean as for what color it was nobody knows people speculate it's a plesiosaur or a mosasaur or just a really big crocodile that was on that ship for some reason the white river monster the white river monster is a river monster that supposedly lives in white river in, in northeastern arkansas it's been described as being roughly 14 inches long having gray skin being as wide as a car and a horn coming out of its head along with spines on its back some even claim that it leaves footprints it's been spotted in the area for over a century as it was first spotted in 1915 and since then there's been plenty of attempts to kill or capture the creature with some bringing explosives giant nets deep sea diving gear and machine guns to catch it during the spree of attempts, it was spotted a bunch of times, but they were never able to actually capture the creature. It even got to the point where eventually in 1973, Senator Robert Harvey signed a bill to create the White River Monster Refuge, where it's illegal to harm the monster there. Since then, the people who live in the area have begun to love the creature, and even named it Whitey. The Ringdunkus also known as the Shunka Warakin, the Ringduncus is a dead cryptid that resides in the Madison Valley History Museum in Montana. It was killed in 1886 by a man named I.A. Hutchins, who reported that the creature had been harassing and killing his livestock. The creature, however, looked very strange, and so its corpse was kept and later taxidermied. The creature kind of looks like a wolf, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a hyena. This has actually led to some people speculating that it's a cross between the two species. Originally, the owners of the corpse agreed to a DNA test, but eventually decided against it because it would ruin the legend. So I guess we'll never know what this thing really is. A mutated wolf, a wolf-hyena hybrid, an American breed of hyena, the last of an unknown prehistoric species of wolf. The Remy Van Leerd Snake In 1959, Colonel Remy Van Leerd of the Belgian Air Force was flying over the Congo in a helicopter. There, he reported seeing a 50-foot-long snake that was roughly 2 feet wide and a 3-foot-long triangular head. He described it as having dark green and brown scales and a whitish colored belly. Intrigued by the snake, he had the pilot of the helicopter turn around and make another pass at the snake. But this time the snake reared up 10 feet from the ground and reared its fangs at them. This caused the two of them to flee because they believed that they were in striking distance of the snake. Now what's crazy is they actually managed to get a pretty good photo of the snake. It's unknown whether or not the snake is just a rare species or just a python suffering from gigantism. The Flathead Lake Monster 
is a cryptid that supposedly lives in Flathead Lake in Montana. It's been described as being very eel-like, with a very wavy body that spans up to 40 feet in length. It also has brownish, bluish, grayish, blackish eyes. How anyone got close enough to see its eyes, I have no idea. The first sighting of the monster was in 1889, when the creature approached a steamboat. Dude almost got shot doing this, however, as one of the passengers had a rifle with him, but decided against shooting him. Another sighting came from 1993, where two Flathead Lake monsters were spotted with one being a lot larger than the other, which has led some to believe that they're either mates, or it's a mother and child. At least 14 more sightings of the creature were reported in 1993, making it the year with the most sightings of the creature by far. Owlman No, not the DC character. Owlman is a cryptid that reportedly lives in Cornwall, England, and has been spotted there since 1976. It's been described as a giant owl-like humanoid with big pointed ears, silver-gray feathers, a really wide mouth, clawed wings, pincer-like claws, and glowing eyes. Some have even claimed that you can hear it screeching a loud owl-like howl at, at St. Monan and St. Stephen's Church. Due to its similarity with Mothman, some have even claimed that Owlman is simply just the British version of it, like how the Yowie is Australia's Bigfoot. However, most researchers in the area seem to just believe that people just saw an owl and misidentified it. The Google Car Creature Early in January 2021, a viral image began to spread around online of a cryptid spotted by a Google Earth car. The OP of the original Reddit post where the image came from claimed that the creature only appeared once, right after the Google car passed it, and then it ran into the forest. Now because of how funny this supposed cryptid looks, as it has no arms and it's just legs, it became a meme for a few days, and thus a bunch of Twitter artists created their own versions of the creature. Because of how blurry it is, I'm fairly confident in saying that it's just a blurry picture of a stump. Air rods. Air rods are small... creatures? They can't ever be seen with the naked eye, and can only be seen through photos. They're found all over the globe, and due to how mysterious they are, have led people to believe that they're small living creatures, or even extremely tiny UFOs. Some even think that they're a fifth form of matter. While some people still believe in all these theories, we actually know exactly what they are. Air rods are simply optical illusions caused by motion blur. They're usually the afterimage trails of insects and their wing beats. I mean, technically they're the afterimage of, of a living being, but you get what I mean. They're not... These aren't cryptids. Issy. Issy is a Japanese lake monster that's said to live in Lake Ikeda. It's been described as being a plesiosaur, being black in color, and being roughly 16 feet to 98 feet in length. Yeah, that's quite the estimation. It was first spotted in 1978, and since then has been spotted several more times over the years. Issy has also been linked to Japanese mythology. According to legend, she was once a white horse who had a foal and lived together with it on the shore of the lake. When the foal was kidnapped by a samurai, she jumped into the lake and transformed into a giant beast. Giant Camel Spiders Camel spiders are a species of spider that are native to the Middle East. They're real and horrifying looking, but that hasn't stopped people from exaggerating their size. In 2004, just as the Iraq war was starting, fake stories about giant camel spiders a foot long that ran around eating the stomachs of sleeping soldiers and laying eggs under camel skins began to spread online. These stories also mentioned how the spiders could run up 25 miles per hour screaming like a banshee, they had the ability to jump six feet, and if they bite you, your flesh and muscle will fall off. This story was accompanied by a photo that used a false perspective to make the spider seem larger. But still, despite being debunked, some people still believe in these giant camel spiders. Stellar's Sea Ape The Stellar's Sea Ape is a cryptid that lives off the shore of Alaska, that's been described as being 5 feet long, having a dog-like head, long drooping whiskers, and an elongated body, with no limbs, tail fins like a shark, and a thick fur coat. He was reported by a German zoologist named George Steller in 1741, and claimed that it was a really playful creature, almost like a monkey. After observing it for a while, he attempted to kill it, but failed. Since then, it's been reported only a handful of more times over the centuries, and has been pretty much debunked, as most zoologists and researchers agree it's just a misidentified northern fur seal. Shinxing The Shinxing is a Japanese cryptid that reportedly lives in the Himalayan mountains. It's been described as an ape-like creature, roughly 10 feet tall, having black fur with yellow eyes, and are very fast. 
Now you're probably curious as to why a Japanese cryptid with a Chinese name lives in the Himalayan mountains. In truth, Jingjing is named after the Japanese legend, the Shoujo, because it matches their description. Technically, they're two different creatures, but one is 100% of just mythology, while the Jingjing has been reported several times over the years in China. The Lake Tota Monster. Also known as the Devil Whale, is a Colombian lake monster that's been described as a fish with a black head like an ox and larger than a whale. Though it's also been described as a large black snake, so, so whichever one sounds cooler to you. It's been reported in the area since the 17th century and has been referred to as evil or a devil. It apparently had a hand in creating Lake Tota. People who believe in this creature theorize that it could be a megalodon or a botasaur, despite them living in salt water and not fresh water and, you know, being extinct. The Oklahoma Octopus The Oklahoma Octopus is a cryptid that's said to live in freshwater lakes in Oklahoma, like Lake Thunderbird or Lake Tenkiller. There, it kills swimmers and drags them to the depths of the lakes. The biggest piece of evidence for this creature is that there's a high mortality rate and a large amount of unexplained drownings in Oklahoma. So, you know, that means a giant octopus is killing people. According to reports, the octopus is roughly the size of a horse and has leather-like red skin. Outside of high mortality rates, there's been no evidence for its existence. No videos, no photos, nothing. Probably because octopi can't live in freshwater. Mussy. Mussy is yet again another lake monster that takes inspiration from Nessie. This cryptid is reported to live in Muskrat Lake in Canada and has multiple, vastly different descriptions. Some claim it has three eyes and sharp teeth. Some say it has two horse-like ears and an extra ear in between pointed backwards towards the sky. Some claim it has silver fur with white tusks and some just claim it's a plesiosaur. The creature was first reported by natives hundreds of years ago and is still reported to this day with one expedition being done in 1988, where they were able to find sonar images of two different creatures they couldn't identify. The Beast of Exmoor It's a cryptid that supposedly lives in Devon and Somerset in the United Kingdom. It's apparently a cougar or panther that somehow found its way into the UK. Sightings of the creature began in the 70s, before becoming notorious in 1983, after it reportedly killed over 100 sheep in just three months alone. Since then, there's been plenty of sightings of the creature over the decades. Though because of this, there can't be just one beast, as cougar and panther lifespans are roughly 12 to 15 years, so there must be more of them. Despite evidence still popping up from time to time, the UK government has come out and officially ruled the creature to be a hoax, as they sent in Royal Marines in 1983 to locate the creature, and they found nothing. The Beast of Bladenborough the Beast of Bladenboro is a cryptid that terrified North Carolina locals for 10 days in 1954, where it killed dozens of domesticated animals like dogs and goats. These weren't simply just kills, but slaughters, as the dogs it killed were torn to pieces and crushed, one of which had almost all its blood drained from it, and its jawbone smashed backwards. There was even reports of a pet rabbit that was flat out cleanly decapitated. Eyewitnesses described the creature as being roughly four and a half feet long, and resembled either a bear or a panther. It was even reported that the creature made noises like a crying baby. These events led to roughly a thousand people searching the state for the creature, and eventually, after a farmer killed a bobcat, the killing seemed to stop, though the animal didn't match any of the descriptions given by the eyewitnesses. The Black Demon The Black Demon is a mysterious shark that's said to be roughly 20 to 60 feet in length and weighing roughly 100,000 pounds. It's reported to live in the Gulf of California, aka Mexico Sea of Cortez. It's been described as being pitch black in color, and its mouth being wide enough to eat a whale. Some have claimed it's a megalodon, but there's simply no evidence for that. In fact, outside of a few photos, there really isn't any evidence of the shark's existence at all. If it does exist, it's most likely just a really big great white shark, because as I mentioned about an hour ago, people tend to forget how big great whites can get. The Wowie. The Wowie is a cryptid said to have lived in Australia. It's been described as being 7 meters long, with a frog-shaped head and 6 legs. It reportedly lived near the banks of the Murray River and the caves nearby. Stories of the creature described it being very slow, though at the same time extremely durable. Ancient myths about the creature date back centuries, as apparently multiple tribes got together at one point and hunted it down with spears and stone axes. After a fierce battle, the creature was killed. So did this creature ever actually exist? Maybe. There's been theories as to what they killed was either a large crocodile, or was the very last Megalana to exist. Though I doubt the latter, as I'm pretty sure it's just a myth. Or maybe they found the fossils of a Megalania, and they just were like, 
Hey, let's come up with a fun story. The Elitia. The Elitia is a giant bat-like cryptid that supposedly lives in Central Africa. According to sightings, the creature has a 12-foot wingspan, and their body is almost completely black, besides its wings, as they're red in color. They also have serrated teeth, and been nicknamed the granddaddy of all bats, after a sighting of it in the 1930s by hunters. Some have even claimed it could be a pterosaur, not a giant bat. Though, in all honesty, I think the giant bat is probably more likely. With all that being said, there hasn't been a single photo of it ever taken, despite sightings of it happening throughout the 20th century. It's more than likely just a misidentified hammer-headed bat, which are huge, by the way. Only the rich meaty sauce of Chef Boyardee can tame the beast in you. The Girt Dog of Innerdale. The Girt Dog of Innerdale was a cryptid reported in Cumberland, England in 1810. The creature had killed up to 400 sheep over six months, but it didn't eat them. Instead, it removed several of the sheep's organs, and then the sheep was drained of its blood. According to eyewitnesses, the creature wasn't a dog, but instead some strange creature that had the qualities of a large cat and a dog. It had sandy brown fur with dark stripes running down its back, and after a massive hunting party of roughly 100 men, they eventually were able to kill it, and its carcass was paraded around the area, and was even stuffed and put into a museum, but was thrown out in 1950 as the corpse had been getting raggy with moths eating its fur, so that's kind of gross. So what exactly was this creature? Well, shockingly, a Tasmanian tiger, as it matches the description almost exactly. However, there's no way to prove this as the corpse is gone now. And as far as I know, there's no images of what it looked like. Civil War Pterosaurs. So if you've been on the internet for a little while, you've probably come across these images. The first image shows what looks to be a pterosaur being held up by American Civil War soldiers. They must have found it during a battle, right? This proves pterosaurs could still be around. A lot of people actually believe this, but I hate to break it to those people, but this photo actually comes from the show Freaky Links in 2001. The second image doesn't actually have any backstory to it, so it could be legit. Except, you, you know, the, the insanely obvious Photoshop job here kind of disproves the whole thing. Organism 46b Organism 46b is a cryptid that supposedly lives in Antarctica. It's a giant 33-foot-long squid-like creature at 14 tentacles, and can launch a toxin at its prey from a distance up to 150 feet. It can also shave shift. It was originally discovered in 2012 when Russian scientists discovered it living underneath Lake Vostok. The creature attacked the team and mauled several of their soldiers before it eventually had one of its tentacles cut off. Though even cut off from the squid, the severed tentacle then began to attack the team. The team were eventually able to capture the squid and brought it to the surface. President Vladimir Putin has since ordered complete secrecy. That is, until 2016 when it was leaked, though the Russian government has denied all accusations of trying to use the squid monster to create weapons. Now you know what's sad? A lot of people believed this story. Yes, this story is a hoax. It was revealed by the author C. Michael Forsyth that this was a work of fiction he created. Still, to this day, there's people who believe this story. So remember, don't believe everything you see online especially if it's about a 33-foot-long toxic throwing squid in Antarctica being used by the Russian government to create weapons. The Van Meter Visitor The Van Meter Visitor was a cryptid spotted in 1903 in the town of Van Meter, Iowa. Witnesses described the creature as being an animal-human hybrid that terrorized the town for roughly a week. According to reports, it had left an extremely awful stench wherever it went, and it could fire a beam of light from its forehead. It had large wings and apparently immune to gunfire. Eventually, the town chased it into an abandoned coal mine before another one of these creatures emerged. The two beings then left the town, never to be seen again. So, what could this have been outside of a complete hoax? Well, some say it could be a pterosaur, but I don't think they could shoot light at their foreheads. Maybe it was an alien or a weird insect monster? But I'm just gonna 
throw it out here. I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say it's probably a hoax. The Toronto Aerial Jellyfish. The Toronto Aerial Jellyfish is a cryptid spotted in the atmosphere in Toronto, Canada. It was reported on April 12, 2012. It reportedly floated down from the clouds before returning back to the atmosphere. There's not really much known about this cryptid outside of it potentially being a giant jellyfish-like creature that lives in our atmosphere. The King Jian Flying Jellyfish. Quin Jing Flying Jellyfish is another atmospheric jellyfish. This one was spotted by a Chinese Air Force pilot on October 19, 1998 in Zhejiang, China. According to him, the jellyfish had dangling bright lights coming out of it and immediately flew back into the atmosphere once it saw the fighter jet approaching it. He attempted to follow the jellyfish, but was unable to because he was running out of fuel. Not only did he see the jellyfish, but apparently roughly 140 other people did too. The Petrozavats Aerial Jellyfish is the final atmospheric jellyfish I'll be talking about in this video. This jellyfish was spotted in 1977 in Russia. It floated around for roughly 12 minutes and made a howling siren-like sound. As it approached the city, lights inside the jellyfish began to pulsate, and the people of Russia spotted multiple golden tentacles emerge from its white glowing body. Eventually, it retreated back into the atmosphere. So what was this thing? Well, many people have come out and said it was either the aftermath of a failed Soviet rocket or a meteorite. There's actually a term called space jellyfish that relates to a rocket launch phenomenon caused by sunlight reflecting off the high altitude rocket plume during launch, which results in things like this. So I think we have our answer. The Gator Man. The New Jersey Gator Man was a humanoid cryptid that lurked around in New Jersey in 1973. It was reported several times and was described as a scaled man-like creature which appears at dusk from the red algae infested waters to forage among the ferns and moss-covered uplands. That description was from Alfred Hillstruck, a city official, meaning that the city in which it was spotted in officially recognized its potential existence. Though because it hasn't been spotted since the summer of 1973, there's a good chance that it doesn't exist. The Hydra now this is the mythical creature I mentioned at the very beginning of the video that I'd talk about. The Hydra is a giant snake-like monster with dozens of snake heads, and if you cut off one of the heads, two more will take its place. You see, while well, nobody reports saying it's the Hydra anymore because everyone agrees that it's just a story, the Hydra was reported numerous times centuries ago. While most may think these sightings were just fictional tales, there's actually a good chance that some of them were just misidentifications. This is because many of the sightings were probably just people seeing snake colonies, and shocked by what they saw, they must have just assumed that it was a baby hydra or something. The Honey Island Swamp Monster It's a cryptid reported to live around Honey Island in Louisiana, and it's been spotted since 1963. It's been described as being roughly 7.5 feet tall and 500 pounds. It's covered in a thick coat of brownish gray fur covered with swamp grass and moss. Its eyes are reptilian-like, it has three-toed feet, and apparently leaves a foul stench wherever it goes. It's also been reported that it's killed dozens of livestock in the area, and said to have killed a man named Ted Williams, who claimed to have seen it several times before one day going off to set trout lines and was never seen again. One legend about the creature says it originated when in the early 20th century a train carrying a traveling circus derailed right next to the swamp. The only survivors of the crash were chimpanzees, and they went on to breed with the alligators there, resulting in this creature. There's one problem with that story. Chimps can't breed with alligators. That's that's not possible. The Monkey Man of New Delhi. The Monkey Man of New Delhi is a cryptid that was reported near the capital city of India in 2001. Reports claimed that it was a strange nocturnal monkey-like creature that was roughly four feet tall, covered in thick black hair, and attacked people. Some even claimed it wore a metal helmet, had metal claws, wore pants, had glowing red eyes, and three buttons on its chest. Yeah, I guess this monkey was just suited up for a night out in the town. According to people who have survived his attacks, the way to fend him off is to shine a bright light at its face and throwing water at its chest, which would destroy its motherboard heart. Oh, I'm sorry. You thought I meant buttons as in suit buttons on its chest? No, 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 no. I mean like Darth Vader chest buttons. Apparently this thing is a cyborg. It could even turn invisible by pressing one of its buttons on its chest. Due to how absurd it sounds, many people just think the Monkey Man was just a product of mass hysteria. The Apollo 8 Space Squid During the Apollo 8 mission in 1968, the astronauts aboard the space shuttle took multiple photos of Earth from their spacecraft. However, one image stands out among all the others. 
this one. Now, it's important to note that the astronauts couldn't actually see the images right after taking them. They had to develop them once they got back to Earth, so if they didn't see this space squid-like creature, they'd be in for quite the shock once they arrived back on Earth. So what exactly is this thing? Well, sadly for cryptozoology fans, it's actually not a giant squid that can live in space. Nope, it's just ice. You see, there's a transcript of the Apollo 8 mission, and during it, the astronauts mention how one of the windows was frosting up. So there's the answer. It's just frost from the outgassing caused by the spacecraft. The Yara. The Yara is a cryptid said to live in the Amazon River in Brazil. According to legends, they're female mermaid-like creatures with green hair and brown eyes, with a tail that resembles a river dolphin, and tend to sit on rocks where they comb their hair. When a person would approach them, they'd lure them close with their singing, by either biting them or drowning them. While most people nowadays agree that they aren't real, that hasn't stopped some people from claiming they've heard her singing in the rainforest. Though, I mean, if you did find one, I mean, how would you even re report it? Because you'd be lured in by your singing and she'd kill you. So, so I guess there's like no actual way to report them. The Hook Island Sea Monster. The Hook Island Sea Monster is a cryptid said to live off the coast of Hook Island. It resembles a giant tadpole-like creature and was described as being roughly 90 feet long with a gaping mouth filled with small teeth and eyes on the top of its head. Its eyes were pale green and the creature was very flexible. It was only sighted once in 1964 when it swam up to Robert Serif's boat. He noticed that the creature's tail was injured, most likely due to the ship's propeller, and the beast simply swam away after Serif took three different photos of the creature. So what was this? Well, at the time, most cryptozoologists came to the conclusion that it was a hoax. That the creature was, in fact, just a military-grade tarp dragged in the water. Also, its eyes are very plastic-like. The Mapangari. The Mapangari is a cryptid that lives in the Amazon rainforest. Most descriptions of the creature describe it as being a very hairy, 6 foot 6 tall cyclops-like monster with a gaping mouth on its abdomen. So think Bigfoot, but in the rainforest, with one eye and a mouth in its stomach. It's also been described as having reptilian-like skin, long claws, and a stench so horrible it knocks a person out unconscious in seconds. It's also known for ripping out the tongues of livestock and producing loud human-like screams. Some have even claimed to see them eat fruits and live in groups, so I guess they're omnivores. And unlike a lot of cryptids, people have claimed to have actually found their poop. Though researchers have actually found that all their poop is just anteater poop, so I, I guess we actually haven't seen their poop yet. The Antarctic 4chan Striders In February of 2021, a 4chan thread went up detailing how the Anon's father used to work at Murdo Station in, in Antarctica. According to OP, there are places in Antarctica people just don't go to, not because of environmental issues, but because of the Striders. OP's father and crew would take 5 mile detours to avoid these Striders. The Striders are cryptids said to have 5 legs that crawl across the continent at night or in snowstorms. They're apparently pretty big, and leave footprints a foot deep. OP states his father said that the Striders are roughly 7 stories tall, with 30 feet between each footsteps. According to OP's father, the US military may have thawed them out of the ice, so the Striders may be prehistoric creatures we let out on the continent by accident. OP would then give a little bit of evidence he was telling the truth when he posted a picture of his father's plaque he was given while working in Antarctica. Considering this is a 4chan thread, this is probably all bullshit, but interesting nonetheless. The Chupa Chu. In Brazil, there's a cryptid called the Chupa Chu, which is apparently very similar to the Chupacabra. What's interesting about this creature is that while people do report seeing it, it's actually become kind of a joke nowadays. In fact, according to my research, the Chupa Chu is considered a joke in Brazil. It's described as a tiny, gray, alien like creature that's more pinkish in color, with large eyes and a tiny head. Oh, and its name literally translates to Anus Sucker which means that this creature apparently goes around and sucks blood through people's behinds. Probably why it's not taken very seriously. The Ngoi Rung While fighting in the Vietnam War, U.S. troops were told by locals to look out for the Ngoi Rung, aka the people of the forest. These creatures are Bigfoot-like cryptids that are roughly six feet tall and loved to throw rocks at U.S. troops. Yeah, Sergeant Thomas Jenkins of the U.S. Army actually reported that his platoon was attacked by these ape-like cryptids were throwing large stones at them. There were so many of these sightings that towards the end of the war, the North Vietnamese army ordered scientists to investigate. During the investigation, they found a ton of tracks that they made casts of. These footprints were far larger than any human or any known ape's footprints. 
And according to legends, they live in tribes, have dark red fur, though their knees, feet, and hands are bare. Oh yeah, and they also like to break into people's homes and abduct people. So, that's terrifying. Imagine just chilling in your house, and then Bigfoot storms in and kidnaps you. The Moa Moa is an Australian cryptid that reportedly lives near the Great Barrier Reef. It's been described as having a long gray neck, a large dome-shaped back, and a long tail. It's eight feet wide and five feet tall. So think of a turtle just with a giant head and tail. It was first sighted in the 1770s when it was reported to have swum around a ship in the area and was later spotted numerous times in 1890 where it was reported to have attacked natives and killed several other people. Despite it apparently slaughtering an entire village, no evidence has ever been discovered, so it's most likely just a hoax. Stick figures. No, no, I'm not kidding. Many people around the globe have reported seeing stick figures, or black stick men, who are almost always 2D, no matter what angle you look at them from. They're reported to be charged with electricity and can range from being only 2 feet tall to 12 feet tall. They've been reported in forests, cities, homes, highways, small towns, hillsides, etc. Basically anywhere. Reports say that stick figures don't actually walk, they simply glide across the ground, though as it moves, people have claimed to have seen the air move around the creature. They can also move extremely fast and have been reported to appear in groups. They get their name because they look literally like stick figures. No, no facial features, no eyes, no nothing. Just a stick figure. Nobody knows what they are, or even if they're alive or not. The Six-Legged Blank Centaur The six-legged, word I can't say because demonetized, centaur is a cryptid that comes from a 4chan thread about an incident in which OP encounters the creature. It's described as being really pale, having six legs that look like a mix between horse legs and beetle legs, extremely long arms, a face that looked like a weird mask, a nose like a bird's beak, no eyes, being seven feet tall, and having exposed genitals. It also crawled around instead of actually walking. They also like to grave rob for some reason. I, I guess that's how they eat. Now you might be thinking, why is it called the, well, you know word, despite there being no you know in the story? Well, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe because the OP salts dick? I, I have no idea. It it's 4chan, so they're probably just being edgy to be edgy. Though some people on Reddit have also claimed to have seen it. Though they are without question just jumping in on the story, going like, Oh, yeah, no, I, I've seen it. I, I, I swear. Mm -hmm. Nope, I, I definitely have seen it. Strange going on. Over a thousand people insist they've seen something in Loch Ness. And yet when science is applied, like this expedition, what's going on? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Do you see that? There. Oh my. The Were Sheep. In New Zealand, it's been reported that a strange werewolf like creature lurks in the area after an experiment to turn sheep into carnivores is being underdone. According to reports, this were sheep like creature is extremely violent and craves blood. It can also infect people, turning them into were sheep as well. Dren. Created in 2009 by the, by the Nucleic Exchange Research and Development Team, the cryptid known as Dren escaped into the wild after being experimented on. It's a humanoid creature with razor-sharp fangs, a tail that can fire deadly toxins out of it, and kangaroo-like legs. It also can grow wings and has a very high sex drive, as it's been reported to have engaged in intercourse with at least one human male, and can even reportedly breed with humans. The creature is also described as being sentient, which means it has thinking capabilities like a human. Why this creature was made is unknown but what is known is that it loves to kill and eat. The few eyewitnesses that have lived to tell the tale of the creature 
have said that it's extremely dangerous. Colorado Hunters In 2016, a mining accident occurred in a small town in Colorado, which resulted in the town being evacuated. According to some eyewitnesses that took part in the cleanup process, they discovered several cryptids that emerged from the ground. They looked insect-like with numerous eyes and sharp fangs. They were roughly 3 to 4 feet tall, except for some which were massive, one being roughly 10 feet tall with a rhino-like hide, and one that fired toxins from a scorpion-like tail. The creatures disappeared as quickly as they were spotted, however, and no images of them exist. Illegal Plesiosaur In 2006 in Kinkanazawa, Japan, reports of a strange plesiosaur-like cryptid were going around. Reports indicated that the cryptid was impossible to see with the naked eye and required you to wear glasses. It can only live in the shadows and gets hurt if it touches sunlight or any artificial light. It makes whale-like sounds and has been reported to live with at least 10 other creatures like it. The Black Rider In Japan, there's been reports of a cryptid-like creature that rides around on a motorcycle through traffic and leaves a black mist wherever it goes. It's been described as being completely black except for its head, which has been described as being a yellow biker helmet. Originally thought to just be a person, this cryptid has evaded police for years in impossible ways, leading people to believe that it's something else entirely. Slenderman Slenderman is a cryptid that can reportedly change its height from roughly 7 feet to 19 feet. It's been described as being a skinny, slender-like humanoid that appears to be wearing a suit and has no facial features. It also has tentacle-like appendages that emerge from its body. It can teleport, and it hunts down children as its primary food source. It's oftentimes seen in photographs, with almost all eyewitnesses either dying or going mad after seeing it in person. Chisasaurus Rex Chisasaurus Rex is an abomination against life itself. This lovecraftian link cryptid has been spotted several times in California, New York, China, Arkansas, Australia, and Japan. It's been reported to have a gelatin-like body made of barely solidified cheese that bubbles around as the creature moves. As for its behavior, it's been spotted breaking into people's homes to do god knows what. Several images of the creature exist, but they're far too dangerous for the public to see, so they're usually kept locked away, with only a few of them having leaked. Freddy Freaker Not much is known about this cryptid outside of it being apparently a party freak. It's also bright yellow in color, has large arms, and likes to shake around and vibrate. Those who have seen it say it's extremely dangerous. Godzilla In the late 1940s, reports of a giant cryptid the size of skyscrapers began to leak to the public, but were quickly covered up. The reports detailed how it swam around the ocean, only being seen breaching the surface with its back plates. It also leaves a heavy trail of radiation wherever it goes. This discovery has terrified governments around the globe, so the United States has been trying to kill it with nuclear weapons ever since and has since told the public that they were just simply testing nuclear weapons. This cryptid has been given the name of... Godzilla. And that's that. That's the Cryptozoology Iceberg. Uh, I probably missed a few cryptids. Actually, no, I, I missed a few hundred. There's like a thousand of them. But uh, those are the ones I found the most notable. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that little like final spooky section at the end. Uh, the little like creepypasta, like not real shit. But uh, because that's the last time I'm going to do it, because I mentioned uh, months ago that I'm not going to do that anymore. But I decided to bring it back one more time for, uh, you know, for the spooky season. Why not? I put this in the description. I'm going to say it again. If you believe in any of these things, that's totally cool. I don't mean to like rain on your parade or anything like that. I make I just make jokes about them because I find them kind of absurd and silly. But um, you know, it's, it's, it's for entertainment. There's no problem with you actually like believing in any of these for, for the most part, maybe not like the, you know, the, the 14 tentacle squid thing in Antarctica or like, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, it's uh world's full of weird things. Who knows? Maybe some of these are real. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't really have much to say this time around. I'm going to upload tomorrow as well on Halloween with a special video and uh, hope you'll enjoy that one, too.